Hello everybody, I'm Rene Ramos, director of the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives, and this is Rewind, the show that looks back on Florida's past with historic film and video. It's time for another trip back into the past, so sit back, relax, and enjoy another episode of Rewind. <laughs> Anita Green and her court of princesses. Princess Carol Baldwin. Princess Rosemary Meeks. Princess Joyce Combs. And Princess Judy Ann Harwood. Orange 1959. Attendance 76,000. Miami sparkles from the air as it plays host for its brightest Orange Bowl festival in its 25 year history. Football, fireworks, floats, and femininity will be combined in Miami's greatest Orange Bowl festival. For boatsmen attending the Big Ten Day show, the dream of the waterborne has been translated into reality. And relaxing. Sightseeing, Hialeah's famed flamingos. Hialeah, the world's fastest sport. How about a little golf? Sailing, one of the most popular sports in this area. And this is fun, too. Night and day, the silver anniversary attraction includes something for everyone. The spirit of the holiday season is displayed throughout the Miami area. Majorettes add zest to festive spirits. Thousands of beautiful girls participate and help make the Orange Bowl Classic the glamour game of bowl games. Clad in elaborate costumes, the girls make Miami sparkle with gaiety during the Orange Bowl week. Majorettes, baton twirlers, girls, girls, girls. The Around Miami Beach boat race is a feature of the Orange Bowl Regatta. International Airport, Miami, Christmas Day, 1958. The Oklahoma Sooners great football team arrives tonight. On hand to greet the Sooners are lovely Orange Bowl princesses. The boys from Oklahoma, for the fourth time in the last six years, arrive in Miami for the Big Classic. Oklahoma has won or decided almost every national football championship in the last ten years. Coach Bud Wilkinson, considered by many authorities the greatest coach in college football. One of the first attractions of Orange Bowl week is the International Junior Tennis Meet. More than 12 nations compete in the Orange Bowl Junior Tennis Tournament at Miami Beach. This is the world's championship of junior tennis, with the top-ranking players of both North and South America participating and fighting it out for the treasured honors. The University of Oklahoma Sooners are headquartered on the Miami Beach Gold Coast. A little relaxing around the pool between workouts is a nice prescription for the Sooners. Oh, boy, for the life of an Oklahoma football player. Hi, fellas. How do you feel about the New Year's game? Oh, this is relaxing time. And you're learning how to make hats from palm fronds. Uh, some chapeau, guys. And remember that end to watch on New Year's Day. Coil, left end for the mighty Sooners. Oklahoma practices for the New Year's Classic at the University of Miami practice field. But first, let's get those darn photographers out of the way. One of the secrets of Oklahoma's great success on the gridiron is speed. Coach Bud Wilkinson's secret for success really is keeping the last boy on the squad as important as the number one boy. And speaking of number one, All-American Bob Harrison. Arriving three days after Oklahoma, the Syracuse football team also gets the official greeting from Orange Bowl princesses. All-American Ron Luciano gets the kind of greeting that helps make for touchdowns. Right, Ron? President of the Orange Bowl Committee, Hood Bassett, welcomes Coach Ben Schwartzwalder. Miami Beach's famed Gold Coast also plays host to the Syracuse team. Staying at a fabulous beach hotel during Orange Bowl week means plenty of incentive to football players and teams to win a bid to the annual Bowl Classic. And boy, let's pass for touchdown. What's this, orange juice on the house? Uh, that's for me, lady, especially those tall glasses. Now let's get back to football business. Photos over, Coach Schwartzwalder puts it on the line. 
Yes, fellas, you happen to be playing the Oklahoma Sooners in the Orange Bowl in four days. This Syracuse team has been dubbed one of the greatest in its history. The Orangemen have connected for 926 yards on passing during the season. Syracuse has also demonstrated a powerful running attack. In the kicking department, they're tops. How's that one, coach? Quarterback Zimmerman will be the main passing threat for Syracuse. Full boat regatta and water show in Biscayne Bay gets underway with a roar. The nationally televised show opens with a Welcome America exhibition. How about these boats? They're called airboats as they're propelled through the water with airplane propellers. They house this for a 50-yard line seat. The Grand Prix of the Powerboat Regatta features the world's fastest boats and drivers. Ever think you'd see an elephant on skis with a pretty girl? Well, mister, you're seeing it right now. Sports figures, civic leaders, and other assorted dignitaries cram every inch of space for the 25th Orange Bowl all-male luncheon. Hi, bud. Glad you could come. You too, Ben. The fancy-hatted guests hear rival coaches tell of the great and awesome power their respective teams must face on New Year's Day. Climax of the luncheon, but naturally, men, is the introduction of the Queen and her princesses. And the Queen names Orange Bowl president Hood Bassett Quarterback of the 1959 Orange Bowl Classic. Here's Eve King Orange Jamboree. The big thrill-packed glamour parade is spearheaded by the U.S. Marine Corps 2nd Division Band. University of Oklahoma Band here to boost the team. Miss America greets Miami. This stunning float is an inspiration for the new year. of Syracuse on deck to inspire the Orangemen. It's no exaggeration to list the girls in the thousands who take key parts in the world-renowned festival. Many of the girls who participate in the Orange Bowl festivities go on to success in the movies or as models. High school bands from all sections of the country take part in the gala parade. Ah, life on the bounding main. And such pretty sailors. Flamingos on this one, Hialeah Flamingos. The Norman, Oklahoma Band. makes a parade, fancy floats, and pretty girls. Our Latin American neighbors look forward to flying to Miami for the gay round of festivities.
here in Miami and Dade County's forward-looking future depicted on this one. has got to get through. Shoot them up, boys! The Navy represented on this float. The City Beautiful, Paul Gable. Now the theme floats. Memoirs of 25 years is the 1959 theme. Each float in the theme section is designed to recall how the Orange Bowl Festival has grown in its 25-year history. The 25th anniversary cake and 25 lighted candles. The dreamer and what lovely dreams. Events, plenty in 25 years. Music, music, always a feature to thrill young and old. Art and production. Mm, love that art. Models. Boy, you said it. Costumes, elaborate costumes, lovely costumes. Makeup, yes girls, keep it up. We all love you for it. Counting our blessings, yes, always the sun or rainbow shining overhead. And always at the end of a great King Orange Jamboree parade, Her Majesty the Queen and her court of beautiful princesses. Nanita Green, queen of the 1959 Orange Bowl Classic and Festival. The 25th Silver Anniversary Orange Bowl Football Classic, Oklahoma versus Syracuse. New Year's Day, 1959, the day of the bowl game. The Oklahoma Sooners take the field for pre-game warm -up. Orange Bowl President Hood Bassett and Mrs. Bassett occupy a front row box with Marine Corps dignitaries. The Orangemen from Syracuse. University of Miami Majorettes add color to the occasion. Coach Ben Schwartzwalder looks over the field. A man to watch, Prentice Gaud of the Sooners. The pregame show gets underway with a Marine Corps band. The University of Oklahoma band marches into position. As participating bands step into position, a happy birthday greeting forms in the center of the field. The Syracuse Band. The University of Miami Band marches on the field to complete the massed formation. 1959 and Miss America, Mary Ann Mobley greets Miami. U.S. flags on rotating poles add to the extravaganza. Nine bands salute the 25th silver anniversary of the Orange Bowl Classic. Game time nears and hostesses and captains march to the center of the field for the toss of the coin. 
and Syracuse wins. The Sooners take the field for the kickoff and the Orangemen. Davis kicking off for Oklahoma and Stevens takes it on the Syracuse six and runs it to the 25. Syracuse failed to make a first down and Kiefer punts to Cornell on the Sooner 44. Oklahoma Sooners ball and it's Gout around end for 10 yards. Syracuse ball. It's Raymer at left end. Good for 15 yards. Hornsman moving and it's Baker at right end for four. Syracuse ball on the 22 and Zimmerman passes to Stevens for 12. Sandeffer on the tackle. The snap from center. It's Zimmerman passing to Stevens for 11. Syracuse ball. Keeper hits right guard for six. Watch this one. Keeper fakes a punt. And Zimmerman passes to Baker. It's good for 23 yards. The Orangeman on the go. But watch it. Stevens fumbles. Harrison recovers for Oklahoma. Syracuse ball, a snap, and it's Zimmerman on a screen to Weber for nine. Now in the second quarter, and it's Stevens up the middle. Fumbles, recovered by Thompson. Oklahoma ball, it's Gout over guard for seven. The snap, and it's Sandeffer at right end for four. The Sooners really moving. It's Gout at left guard for 12. The snap back, and it's Hobby at left end for a touchdown that is ruled out for a holding penalty. Syracuse now with the ball, and it's Raymer around left end for nine. Syracuse ball, the snap, and it's Anderson at right end for 10. There's the snap back, and Anderson sails around left end for 12. The snap from center, Fogarty back to pass, intended for Skoneski, intercepted by Durham, who takes it to the 40. Oklahoma ball, it's Carpenter over left tackle, going for 19 yards. Fast moving Sooners, and it's Carpenter over right tackle for seven. Sooners ball, Boyd laterals to Carpenter, who fumbles, recovered by Syracuse. Orangeman's ball, snap, it's Stevens around right end, going for 19 yards. Syracuse ball, it's Baker around left end for six. And the first half ends Oklahoma 14, Syracuse nothing. The University of Oklahoma salutes Miami in the opening formation of the halftime show. The Syracuse band steps lively down the field. A huge birthday cake float enters the field, the largest and most expensive in the world. Three floats in the form of birthday cakes are the center settings of the big show. The center float, the cake, bears the queen and her ladies. The two end floats carry five organs and organists. The queen of the Orange Bowl Classic and her princesses atop their birthday cake greet the 76,000 spectators. 25 years of thrills in the Orange Bowl. Ready for the last half. Oklahoma's ball spread formation, and Cornell screened to Hobby is a nine-yard loss. Syracuse goes into punt formation after failing to gain their first down. And here's one to watch. 
Gilberg's punt is taken by Hobby on the 40, and he sails down the sidelines for the touchdown. Oklahoma's kick was good. It's 21 to nothing. Syracuse ball, and it's a double reverse. The straight is going for 16 yards. Snap from center, and it's Stevens over right tackle, and he gets away for 21 yards. The third quarter ends, Oklahoma 21, Syracuse nothing. Syracuse ball, Zimmerman on a keeper play, right over tackle for six yards. Syracuse on the march, and it's Weber this time going over right tackle for a Syracuse touchdown. Syracuse failed to make the extra point. 21 to 6. Oklahoma ball, and it's that rugged man goat sailing around end for a 19-yard gain. Syracuse stopped the Sooners, and now with the ball, it's Anderson up the middle for 10. There's the snap back. Stevens going around end for five. Orangeman moving. This time it's Schwedes on a delayed reverse over left tackle for seven. Syracuse getting hot in this last quarter, and it's Stevens catching one from Zimmerman for 11. There's the snap. It's Schwedes on a reverse around end for seven yards. And the end of the ball game. 25th anniversary of the Orange Bowl Classic. Final score, Oklahoma 21, Syracuse 6. Three-in-one package of music, pageantry, and pyrotechnics. Two-hour extravaganza, featuring highlights of the King Orange Parade, pre-game and halftime spectacles, and fireworks display. That's about it for this edition of Rewind. Just time to remind you that Rewind features historical film and video from the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives. To see more from the Wolfson Archives collections, visit our website, wolfsonarchives.org. You can search the archives catalog and watch video online. And be sure to connect to our YouTube channel where you will find hundreds of carefully curated clips or link to the Wolfson Archives Facebook page to keep up with our busy calendar of historical happenings. Until next time, I'm Rene Ramos. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow.